Hi there, and welcome to the instructional video on the best shot selector in QImage Ultimate. A lot of times we'll take photos of a subject multiple times to pick the best shot later. In this case, I've taken some pictures of a dragonfly at different f-stops and using manual focus on some, automatic focus on others, and I want to pick the best shot. In this case, I'm going to look for sharpness, so I'll select these four thumbnails and then right click and choose best shot selector. When the best shot selector comes up it'll load the first two photos in that series that I selected and at this point it's a process of elimination. You always choose the best of the two shots and then it'll load the next shot in the series. So first I'm going to right click and lock the two images together so I can move these up because I know they were framed about the same way. And now I can see that the one on the right is a little bit sharper. So I'll click the check button to say I prefer this shot, and you'll notice that the opposing shot on the left will load the next in the series. And now I see that the, the head is a little sharper on the one on the left, and the body is a little sharper on the one on the right. Well, that's a matter of preference. I'll just choose the one on the left because I'm interested in the, in the face. So I'll say I prefer the one on the left. Now you'll notice that the one on the right will load the final one in the series. And now I get to choose from these two. You notice that the green check marks now turn red, which tells you that this is your final choice. So here, when I choose this checkbox on the left, that's signifying that this is the best shot, and I know that I'm done because the, the right side disappears, and it says, congratulations, this is your best shot. Now when I press escape, or press the close button here, it'll go back and the best shot is selected here. At this point I can put that image on deck, I can place it on deck, I can, uh, I can click on the eye button here and give it a rating so that it moves to the top. You can do anything I want to with it, but the purpose here is to select the photo that's the best. Now I'll show you just one more thing here. I'll select these same four again, go back into the best shot selector. Once again it'll load the photos. I'm going to right click and lock the two together and then scroll down my mouse wheel a little bit to zoom out. Now I can see the full photo. And in a case like this I might be looking for framing and uh, highlights and background. I might prefer the one on the right because it's a little bit darker, it gives a little better contrast to the dragonfly. But you notice if I choose uh, the one on the right and I click that checkbox to say I prefer this photo, the next one that loads will load at the same zoom. So when I was zoomed in in the first round to look at sharpness, it loaded the image at the zoom that I was working with. And that's helpful because it, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, but it will always load at the current zoom that you're working with to help you out in evaluating the photos. And again, it's a process of elimination. You choose which one you like best all the way down to the end. When you see the red check marks, you know that these are the final two. And at this point, you could select this one to say that's the best shot, or you might even say I like both of these, so let's go take a look at which shots those were. So if I close the window at this point, what's going to happen is these two thumbnails will be selected right here. So you don't have to go all the way down to the best shot. If you want to just close it with the final two and do something with those, you can do that. So hopefully this video has been helpful and it will allow you to use the best shot selector to select a group of photos and find the best shot from those photos in the group. Thanks for watching.